Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Hey guys, it's E-Man, you can call me King, and we are here for the Quartal Finals match. Um, so, this is, a, uh, this is when the, the scenes start getting real. Uh, I know we've been running some pretty weird sets, or silly sets, uh, I've been kind of messing around through the... The, the whole season, but this time I, I I am no longer like just messing around. I uh this will probably be the first time where I'm like in this league I'm like really focusing. Um I think I might have said this in the very first week um I recorded. But this was a very like fun league for me. Like I, I really enjoy doing this, especially with this um whole like my whole team. Like it, it was it was made to like try to practice high tier terror and just get used to it. So I didn't expect to get um, into playoffs at all, um, but for the most part, I was just kind of like having fun, taking it on the chill side. But now that I made playoffs, we can no longer chill. I want to try to win, of course. So with that being said, we're fighting um, someone who I think just barely made playoffs. Actually, I think um, our win last week helped him get into playoffs, if I believe. So that was actually pretty cool. Um, it was kind of like chose. <laughs> um, but anyways, his team's actually pretty scary, but not scary for us, if that makes sense. Um, his team consists of Iron Valiant, Jirachi, uh, Glimmer, Hydrapple, uh, Grimmsnarl, Empoleon, Terra Articuno, regular form, Noivern, Terra Golic, and Pyroar. Now, big threats that we can I can kind of say is honestly the big one I'm scared of is Empoleon. I'm not really scared of anything else, which is crazy to say. Actually, I'm a little scared of that... Um, Go look. That go look at that tree is something I'm really scared of. Um, from using them in past leagues and all this stuff, I know that that mod is a monster. And giving it free terror, giving it the ability to choose whatever typing he wants for the matchup, is really scary. If he's like a bandit and he has a good terror type into us, it could legitimately like make it or break the whole game, um, depending on his terror type. So we gotta be a little careful about that. Um, but besides that, I kind of feel good about every other mod except an offensive Empoleon. If offensive Empoleon comes, I'm also feeling a little screwed. Besides that, I feel great into this matchup. We have some great checks into literally every mod. Um, we have one of the best Glimmer checks being our Charlotte which sounds weird because it does get Earth Power, but it only does like 20... 28% I think, or maybe like 35% max. I feel like offensive. So it's like, you know, it's a little weird, but uh... For the matchup, but anyways, let's get into what we brought. Um, first thing first, we have Big Skeledoge, because his team absolutely fucking hate- I swear, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, he- his team absolutely hates Skeledoge. Um, the only man, and the only man that can stop this is Big Empoleon. And if we get a will and in Golok, but if we get a will of us on Golok, we just sit there forever. Um, this mod could legitimately just 6L because of it just being such a great matchup here, but also the fact that he just can't have a good way to kill it. Just like even Specs Valiant doesn't even do 50% of Shadow Ball. That's how good Skeletage is into this matchup. So I know for a fact that he's going to probably be prepping so much for Skeletage. Um, for that, I actually made him, like, not my important piece. He's, um, a really basic set. He's Slack Off, will o um, Hex, and Torch Song. Um, he was specifically here to just... Like, be what I said. Annoying, but also kind of just like a backup um, nuisance check. I wanted him to be scared with this mon. Um, for our next mon, to kind of do more work and kind of actually fill his role. And this is a, a, a kind of a thing I like to do, is I am 80 relax. So I like to try to, I would say, deceive my opponent. So even though he sees a Skeletage, um, Snorlax is going to be my main check to a lot of his mons. Um, in fact, that his only mon for Snorlax is Golok. Um... And I have a feeling that he might laser focus on Skeletage and not have a good Snorlax check at all. And not to mention, this moveset of Body Slam, Heavy Slam, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and we are Max Max, by the way, with a um, Careful Nature. We can literally sit in front of everything in two-shot or even one-shot most mods. We one-shot Noivern, we one-shot Golurk, oh no, we two-shot Golurk, we two-shot Empoleon, we... We can one-shot some Jirachi sets, we one-shot Glamour, this mon is a monster, and it's kind of like how I want to deceive him. If, um, basically I want to try to bait his, the Skeletage checks with Snorlax, take them down with Snorlax, weaken them for Skeletage to kind of come into play. Um, so basically Skeletage is kind of like a blanket for me, uh, as a third team, but yeah, this is one thing I, I have done in, in prior, um, last events, and it has worked 
pretty well. So I'm hoping it's gonna work well again. Cause like I said, they sometimes we just over prep for one mod and I don't blame you. Like I said, Scalar is so good here. So if he does do that, can't blame him. Like this mod does kind of stick so. Um yeah, so this is actually our main mod. Um sadly I no leftovers or healing. Um I do kinda wish I had like wish on this team. If I had wish on this team, I I gotta say, this league would be over. I I'm so confident with my wish plays, like y'all y'all you have watched my content, uh, content. Y'all know how good I am with Wish. Anyways, <laughs> let let me move up quicker. Um, I'm trying to explain more though for my matches because it is a playoff match. Anyways, next is Great Tusk. We are a heavy duty stealth wax rapid spin ice spin earthquake set. Um, we are pretty much max speed. Uh, actually, we are max speed. Specifically, um, the Glamour. I want to lead this and try to counter either Sash Glamour or just a Glamour lead, as I don't like Hazards. Like, Hazards are just not great for my team, as Great Tusk is my only great check, and he does have some great checks to Great Tusk. Hydrapple, Empoleon, um, Noivern, Articuno, Iron Valiant, literally his entire team can trade with my Great Tusk. Um, however, that's one thing that I, I, I like to keep in mind, is that I, he pretty much has to trade with this mod. Either, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, he can do something where, like, I just get rocks up and he makes an aggressive prediction and get some big damage on Tusk, or, you know, I just simply trade with this mod. Um, so that's why I was like, oh, great, Tusk is great here, um, and why I'm kind of a basic max HP, max, uh, speed set. Um, we don't really outspeed, of course, anything higher than Glamour, but Glamour is what I mainly wanted. I spin it for obvious reasons, big Hydrapple and Noivern, uh, and then Earthquake, of course, will literally everything else, as his team is incredibly Earthquake weak. He has, like, f I think, what, four weaknesses? Five weaknesses? No, uh, four weaknesses with, with one immunity, so. Um, next up is Big Arch on him, which is definitely going to be our win con for this week. Um, we are Terra Fairy AV. So one thing that we also, or one thing I noticed when I was building, his team is incredibly, incredibly special oriented. In fact, uh, Golok and Poss and... <laughs> Which is called Grimstar are the only two actual physical mons. Every other mon have a better special attack stat, and he has been running them special every week. So there's a good possibility that this double AV with Snorlax and um Archalon will just be way too much because it, he just can't do really much if his team's super special oriented. Um we like Terra Fairy for no Terra Blast though, just purely for the defensive reason, um, as it's a pretty good typing for um big iron valiant and Iron Valiant is still a threat, of course. Iron Valiant is still Iron Valiant. Um, but Terra Fairy is also kind of nice just for certain things. Like, a Spex Noivern could be kind of an, um, really scary with my team. But I was like, hey, Fairy works. Um, we are just a very basic um, max Spadef, max HP set with a modest nature to do big damage, to eat the hits, and with Flash Cannon, Draco Media, Earthquake, Thunderbolt, as this hits everything super effective, basically, except Golk. LSC has a terror type that I am super effective against, of course, like, uh, electric, water, you know, anything of that sorts. So, yeah, and of course, we've been talking about Big Gold Look and how I'm scared of it, so let's get a big check for it. We have Big Chestnut that is literally only here for this. I don't care for any other mon, this Chestnut is here for Gold Look, and if that dies, this mon can go. I don't care about this mon anymore. <laughs> Um, we're heavy duty because Toxic Debris, of course, and Hazard Spam Glamour, we gotta make sure, um, as we are very max max, as even max max defense, <laughs> Poltergeist Bandit Golok is still doing 60%. Yes, that's how scary that mod is. That's why I really needed a hard check to it. Um, I am Super Fang, Earthquake, Spikes, and Synthesis. Um, Synthesis for obvious reasons, Super Fang is just really nice for some of the annoying mods, like Regenerate a Hydrapple, which can come in on this. Um, or even Noivin as I don't really have a good move for Noivin, and Earthquake is for yet again. He has four ground weaknesses, and possibly five if he if he makes Skull look a weakness to it. Um, and then Spikes is because his only hazard movers are Glamour, which I have one of the best counters for, Archalon, and Noivin Defog, which I personally don't think might come. Like, I really don't see it coming, as it looks really bad here, especially a defensive one. Noivin looks good here, defensive looks bad here. Um, but hey, who knows? But Hazard Spam looks really good into his team, with all his bulk, all his wish, all his screen stall, with all of his um, regenerator, it's so good here. So I was like, I need these spikes. Um, so 90% of the time I'll probably be clicking spikes, but the other 50% of the time, or 10% of the time, he'll just eat Golok hits. Um, now, let's move on to our final mon, 
nice old Aladdin Azelf. Yes, I needed some speed on this team. Uh, on this team, so I am running a max, almost max speed, um, decently bulky with special attack investment Azelf. I am Mystical Power, which is new for us. Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt was extra belt. Um, I'm extra belt specifically for um, Empoleon, as even if he's like max pedef. Uh, I still have like a 40% chance for a um, 2 kill with Thunderbolt, and that's kind of what matters. I just want to make sure I can get 2 kill kills with this pretty much, or put in 2 kill range a kill. So that was the, the biggest reason, as I didn't want to be life orb and take a lot of chip, as I can actually take some hits pretty well with this one. Of course, not taking like a, you know, a goal look poltergeist, or like a uh, sucker punch, like offensive uh, Grimstone, or like a shadow ball and iron van, this mod can pretty much take any hit. And pretty much just do massive damage. Um, and yeah, this set's pretty basic. Uh, Mythical Power is um, what it, if you don't know what it does? It it only is a 75 base power, a second move power. Um, however, it always raises a special attack boost. And with that special attack boost, um, if either Noivan is down slash Iron Valiant, like if those two are down, this mod can very much just six so. But also, if he is not like Spec Shadow Ball. Uh, this mod does just 6 so if we get a plus 1 boost. So that's why I really wanted the Mystical Power, as if we can just get one turn with it off, this mod can very much clean up the game. Um, of course, however, it's gonna be a little tough for it into this matchup, but if it can, it's just, you know, I had to bring it because it's too good. Um, but yeah. That's my team for the quarterfinals. Let's hope we can bring a W into this and reach semifinals. Um, but if not, Hey, I've had a blast in this league. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the match. Okay, we're in. Let's see what he brings. Let's see what he brings. I'm very nervous, I can't lie. Um, yep, Jirachi. I already knew Tail Water Golo because he told me beforehand. I told him my tail. Um, Noivan. Leon. Iron Valiant. And Glenmore. I'm a little confused on the tail water, I can't lie, I was very confused, I'm like, hmm. Um, I think I kind of want to lead Extinction, I mean, now knowing that he's actually tail water, I don't like it as much, but I still think it's best case scenario, as he most likely will lead, um, more. So, if not, I think it's gonna be okay, as we have switch into everything else, you know? So let's just try that, and let's just hope, it's... Yeah, let's see. Block of fun to my opponent. And I'm nervous. Let's see if he leads Big Glim like I think he's going to. If so, I am just going to click the big EQ button. And I am faster than Glimor, the donkey. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Jirachi into Big Great Tusk. How much is like Zen Headbutt doing to me? 30 to 40 percent. I don't think he's just gonna take 30 to 40 percent, so I'm just gonna get a try to get my stealth locks up. I think he might honestly just try to get his locks up. But okay, he's psychic. Okay, that's not what I like to see. Oh, okay. And he gets the death drop. So he's special. Well, that's good to know. Psychic. Well, it sucks to, you know, leave that kind of peace space, pretty much. Um, 69 to 81%. He just basically got a max roll. That's what it looks to be. Um, I guess actually, this is jolly. So he might be timid, which is not a max roll. So he just got a, a decently high roll. Um, I feel like I actually just let... Ex no, no, no. I don't want Extinction to go down if he has Hazard Spike. I have spam, and I, I am fast in certain mobs, so... Um, I think I just go... Big Snorlax. We know he's psychic. That's all we know right now. So let's see what he goes for. He might go for a nice neutral ground, like Aura Sphere or something like that, which I can't blame him. And I just go... Like, again. He did nothing. Yeah, it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> that did... That did nothing at all. Okay. So a switch into this is probably... Let's switch into this. Maybe Golik? Um, I am gonna EQ here first. Okay, so he's U-turn. 
He's not locked in, which is actually kind of good to know. You turn psychic. Let's see what he goes into. I EQ'd as mate. I mean, he could go into Noivin. If he goes into Noivin, good play. If he goes into Noivin, eh. Kind of kind of sucky, but eh. Season MVP. I don't know what his season MVP is, but. Oh, look. Okay. So we know he's water. We get our rocks damage off. I'm going to EQ off. They should do a little bit. Yeah, it does a very, very tiny bit. Um. Goal look is scary, especially as Terra Water. I'm gonna die. He gets like dynamic punch. There's no guard. Um, yeah, that's going to delete my ass. Um. I think Reinhardt can take these. Kind of. If he goes for a Poltergeist. You know? Um, and if he does, we'll see based off his damage, so we'll figure that out. Let's hope he also just goes to Terra Water, like, instantly, and he just lets a Band-Aid rip. Because if so, I can start spamming Body Slam and try to go for Terra's, which is annoying thing to do, but kind of nice. Okay, he goes for Hammer Arm instead of, um, other one. So he might be, um, Iron Fist, right? Um, if he's not going to be No Guard. Because I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. Um, I think I'm going to click Spikes here. We try to get our hazards up. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna swap out. I'm not surprised. Let's see what he goes into. Damn it, that looks to be Glimmer. I wish I was Earthquake then. Yeah, I really wish I was Earthquake in this situation then. As I was Earthquake before, so I could actually just if he went for the Mortal Spin, I could have killed him. But it's okay. So he's probably gonna go for the Mortal Spin, which is um gonna suck, but it doesn't because we have Guy Shield. So we got Arch Allen here. Into Glimmore. Um, I don't know, we'll do like a Meteor Beam. Luke Power's doing like 30%. Yep. Yeah, no, buddy. I'm sorry. You ain't letting these hazards go up. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see how much I shall out in scene 80. So, Earthquake will always kill here. Flash Cannon has a chance to kill. Um, well, he took like 12%, right? Because of rocks. He didn't take spike damage, did he? No, because he got him in afterwards. So it'd be like what 88 percent i think so oh that should always be flash cannon kill so i'm always gonna go for flash cannon here um as i guess you can go into something like empoleon i don't know wand that kill me i should also start writing this stuff down um this he's an mvp that's fine by me he's lefties good to know leftovers and this is what Hondike with that eh, I saw. Okay. Um... Don't you get like Orosphere, I think? Right? I see Book Quick right there, I see Earth Quick right there. Um, I am very chunky to be fair. Napoleon, I think I'm kind of just down to go for the, um... Thunderbolt. I mean, he could go for like the Brick Break or Earthquake, I can... Even like 30%, I'm kind of willing to just take that much damage. As I can like see what he is, you know? He also might just be aggressive and go for like rocks or something, I don't know. We'll see. This is a mod that he struggles with. So, we do get a Thunderbolt all and we are faster. So if he doesn't lose, so kill me here, we're good. Ah, Yawn! Good point. Okay, good to know, he's Yawn. Very, very, very good info. So he's probably gonna boost up this turn. As I won't be surprised if he does. Um, as I think I'm honestly just gonna go into big. Line. Do you get a flying move? You get air slash. Never mind. I'm not going to. You most likely have air slash. I would not be surprised if you do. Um, what does Azelf do? How much are you even taking? Fifty percent. I don't really want to take fifty percent. So I think I might just go into my Snorlax. Yeah, let's go. To, let's go big Snorlax here. I think it's probably going to boost up, and my Earthquake's going to do like 40 to 52 percent, so... Based on the damage we did, um... It looks to be actually more physically bulky, I think. I'm guessing he was expecting a, um... Body Quest, of course, so that does a lot. Flip turn Yawn. Let's see if he gets a big Valen. I'm going to guess he might get the big Valen. Okay, what is this? Oh, no, it's this. 
Interesting. Why did this come out? You're not doing a lot to me. Um, I will click Ice Punch. I'm willing to do it. Oh, Defog, you had a backup. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, this have a chance to kill you. Okay, you're dead. Awesome. He was heavy duty, but yeah, he's dead. Oh, critical hit. That might have mattered. If so, I'm very sorry. Um, it, it was a roll to kill, actually. Because he was heavy duty, there was a what? Okay, it was a 50% if he was offensive with Defog. If not, I don't know. Um, but that that was a really good bring on his end, I can't even lie. Um, even though he just died and got one hit, it was a big, big, big thing. Um... Like, that, that does definitely stop uh, and do us a lot. Like, th this goal look now, yeah, I can come in and do some big damage now and all that stuff. Um. Goal look. I can also check the damage you did to me, so... 195 to... 152. Dude, 22%? Let's hammer on. Hammer on. Okay. Um, so it looks like he's not banded, that's for sure. Um, I do think I just go Reinhardt still. It makes it double out. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Donkey. Donkey's the Jirachi, right? Yeah, good play, good play. Very good play. So we know you're Psychic in U-Turn. You might be... You seem to be a defensive set, so... Um, very good play, very good play. Um, he might U-Turn. I'm also kind of willing to go into this as... I mean, I guess he's switching his season MVP, which I don't really like coming in, but that's okay. I'm, I'm kind of guessing he does get walled by Big Chest now. That's what my guess is. Um. So I think. Um. Rachi. Psychic. I mean, so. Yeah, I mean, to be fair. Snorlax is here for Jirachi, pretty much. It's not really here for anything else. So I'm kind of fine with just it taking damage. Um. Or if he even gets his locks up, as I am heavy duty. Goes 9%. He does just go for a second again. Yep, he didn't want to, you know, I don't blame him. Like, if he, if he made, a, like, if I made an aggressive play there and I got that off, but he got that off, that's big. Um, one thing that's kind of nice is that his flying's dead, so I can actually start spamming in EQ into his incredibly EQ weak team. Um, I kind of really want to put Ice Punch into the goal. I punch is doing 50%. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see if we can make a very aggressive um, damage. If we can get Golok down, I think we can win. That, that's definitely the biggest piece, I think. Like, it's just a big threat. And yet again, depending on his set, he could do big damage, you know? Like, it, uh, it doesn't seem that he's um, banded, but he could still be, like, you know, Ice Punch or even Poltergeist. Non Poltergeist is doing like 40%. Yep, he U turns out. Sonlox is getting big chipped, which is okay. Um, Solnok has, has been putting in the work already, so that's good. Let's see if Golok comes out. If so, this is best case scenario. He might be weakness policy, maybe it's not best case scenario, but that's okay. Yes, awesome. This is so good. This is such a good... I'm so glad I made this read. Pop. Big damage. Are you weakness policy? You're not weakness policy. That is very good. He has taken so much damage now. That is so, so good. Um... I am just willing to go straight back into this. I do not mind. He does not double out this time. Um, so let's see if he has a good move for Chestnut. But again, we know he's not banded based on his damage. Okay, he clicks Earth as a nice neutral. Makes sense, makes sense. I get you, dog. I get you, dog. Um, do I want to synth up into his very nonsense team? Um, oh, I do have an Earthquake. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I could have killed the clue. <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get my spikes back up. <laughs> no way! 
I gonna just kill the glim? Okay. So this time I think I might try to kill the glim. And the main reason why I'm down to do this, even if he gets like the play right, is mainly because of like I, I I've chipped gold look down enough. So I'm gonna go for the earthquake here and see if I can just get this kill. He might make a super aggressive earth power, and if he does, this is so good for us. But I think he might go for the mortal spin. Based on how he's playing, I think he'll go for the mortal spin. Um, which is still a great card, you know? Oh, it goes for Toxic. Oh, Corrosion. He's probably Corrosion. Um, which sucks, don't get me wrong, but if this dies, this is big. Because look at this team now. No hazard removal. This is dead. Very big. Very massive. The fact that now his team has no hazard removal is big. So if we can get, um, that Jirachi out or something like that. Um, or even the Empoleon, sorry not Jirachi, um, that Gold Look or Empoleon in front of Great Tusk, we can get our rocks back up. Um, Gamble, so that's definitely Iron Valley because we know all the other names. Yeah. Okay, hey, um, so this is Future Me, um, Post Me. So, what happened, um, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna freak out after this, <laughs> um, in the, in the past version of me. But basically... For some reason, my OBS files, like where my videos go to, just randomly stopped in the middle of it. Um, and it worked instantly right, um, right afterwards. Like, it just, like, for, like, half a second, I guess, maybe, like, disappeared? I don't really fully know. I've never had that problem happen before. But basically, I stopped my recording. Um, but, um, I did check the footage, and it is still there. It just kind of cuts off. Um, and I do miss of course a one turn um specifically um one turn of uh actually no two turns as i'm gonna explain but one of them is very not much um which luckily uh i caught it so i was actually able to record um the last 30 seconds to make sure you guys could see what happens so this is the turn that you guys missed um i was just simply calcing in front of big valiant and uh, i do remember being scared about <laughs> a setup set, so I just wanted to sack um, Snorlax, and most importantly, try to get knowledge on if he was physical or special. If he was physical, um, like, I just needed the info for Chestnut. Um, if he was special, then I was good with Killadurge, and same with a child so that, that was all I wanted here, to sack um, Snorlax, but uh, he does go for the Moon Blast, so we took out he's special, but we do live, and uh, that, that's where that part um, stops. But, yeah, we do live, and I didn't get that next turn because I was still setting up my OBS to fix it because I got scared. But basically, uh, I just waited to, like, the very last second of the turn. Got my recording up, but I just clicked Heavy Slam, let Snorlax go down. Um, also, based on that damage, we uh, did know that it was Specs. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what just happened. And now it's going to go back to neutral, or neutral, how it is normally, but apologies for that. I really still don't know why. Um, it did that, but, uh, yeah. Back to the regularly scheduled match. Ah, we're recording, okay. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. My, my OBS freaked the fuck out. It crashed, and, oh, it didn't crash, but it said, hey, uh, it, it, the folder is no longer going to where the videos are, so I'm really hoping I didn't lose footage. I, I did really record the, the 30 seconds that it didn't record, um, but if I lost the footage, probably that fucking sucks, but if not, I hope not. Um, we find out that this is special Iron Valiant, which we've been going to big dudes here. Um, actually, I could actually also just go to Fairy on this. Iron Valiant into Ultraladon. Yeah, let's just go big guy Gil here. Um, I am so sorry. I really hope I didn't lose my footage. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if so. I'll be so sad if I did. I like I said, I recorded the last 30 seconds, um, so I'll, I'll, you guys will probably see that actually. I don't know. I'm gonna have to explain that. But yeah, um, I really hope I didn't lose anything else. So, um, there's no reason not to tear it here anymore. I mean, I guess flash cannon, but I'm faster, and I already know your low HP. So I'm going to tear, and I'm gonna click flash cannon. Um, he does withdraw. I guess he can go into Jirachi and maybe like a, a flash cannon from that could hurt. Klondike is yeah, okay that's in Polion. Which is yet again, fine by me. Polion died this is big, you know? Um I'm so scared that I lost footage now. Okay, 
by the end of the footage. Um, he's gonna live this, I think. Yeah, he does, but he can't. We know we're fast. That's the thing, so. Um, so into Empoleon. The Empoleon. I think we can cook a very nice neutral earthquake. If he tries to make a really aggressive. Ah! Does he make a really aggressive goal look? Uh-oh, he does. He's trying to he's trying to get back in. I get I, I understand, I understand, man. Um, I am max speed though, you're not gonna outspeed me. I guess it was your skull. He does live. Um, I Max speed go look. You're fair, you're not even gonna do a lot. Max speed. Oh, wait, no, max speed can actually outspeed me. The max speed can actually outspeed me. But because of that, I think I have to sack extinction here. So I'm gonna do that as a safety protocol. I just, I can't, like, I, the fact that like, Alanon can always take, like, five hits from Iron Valley is too important, especially knowing that it's special. So, and we don't really need rocks in this matchup anymore. So he reveals the heavy slam. Um, which we actually live, which I did not expect. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. Um, into his team of Empoleon, Iron Val, and Jirachi. I'm clicking it that way. I see Terra's, Big Terra, Water. Um, let's see if he's faster. I don't think he can be fast, because I am actually like max speed on this, right? If he's fast, he's, he's, he's Scott. He's just a mess. The goal look dies. Oh, cut my nose. I don't want to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, okay. We're getting really close to being able to wrap this game up. Klondike. The Empoleon is really low. Donkey is, like, still healthy, right? Full HP? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna take a layer spike. Um, I definitely gonna sack this. Um, real quick. I think I did just earthquake turn one. If I just earthquake turn one and he lost to Jirachi, this was practically game. Um, okay. So now I think I'm into Jirachi. Yeah, I can just go into Skeletage here and click Torch Slam. Um, I guess actually, no, it's neutral, neutral. Oh yeah, I can click Torch Slam quickly. We'll figure out if there's any other move, which right now we only know Psychic and U-Turn. And that's all we know. Man, I really hope I didn't lose any footage, or as much as I, you know, I hope I do. Oh! Healing Wish, okay. Um... Oh, he's gonna get that, uh, Empoleon back up. Good to know. Empoleon's back. All we know right now is flip turning you on. Napoleon into I'm taking around 50% from three. Am, 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 am. I kind of want to slack off here. As safe will only be doing 40 to 57%. So that's what I'm going to do. Hydro pump. <gasps> Oh, that left. They eat one. But we don't need Hydro Pump out of all moves. Well, good to know that he's Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump, Flip Turn, Yawn. So he could still very much be Air Slash. That's the move that I want to get out of this guy. Um, I guess actually I don't need Reinhardt anymore. So what, why do I need to get this out of him? Big Chestnut. I'm going to take how much from the Hydro Pump? Probably a decent amount, actually. I'm more than I want, right? Yeah, like 20%, so... If he lands this, which he does... I'm gonna do a good chunk here. I'm actually in the now. Mm, okay. 
Now if he's no speed, I do actually outspeed him. How much is Iron Valiant taken from an Earthquake? 30%? It doesn't matter with the damage on it, so... I'm gonna Earthquake, see if I get some damage off. Okay, so he is the air slasher that I thought he is, and he is enough speed to outspeed me. So we know his whole set now. Yawn flip to an air slash Hydro. Very, 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 very nice. Very nice, very nice. So Hydro, air slash... Napoleon, Hydro Pump, and Air Slash, into Hydro. Taking 60% from Hydro, I actually don't two shot with Ectobel if he's for death. That should really interesting. I might just scale it to- I- I- nah. So I have to go a lad in here. I guess I kinda have to hope he misses a Hydro. I don't know. Um Now we know for a fact we're faster, so we're just gonna simply go for the Thunderbolt. I mean if okay, so it is a really Oh, okay, never mind, we're good. He's not super speed ass. Oh we get the pair, sorry about that. I mean I don't it doesn't matter unless you get full paired here. Um, oh, big damage, big damage. Um, yeah, I just gotta make sure I child on stays health, healthy, which is all that matters to me, you know? He gets swap out, which if he does, um, kinda fine by me. I don't know if, um, Iron Valiant into big villagers, how much am I better to take from Iron Valiant? 37 43 percent from the Shadow Ball, 16 to 19 percent from a Moon Blast. Okay. Okay, very nice. You let him pull in goes now, which is exactly what we needed then. Don't sneeze! Don't you dare sneeze! Okay, good. Um, as I think I am Valiant. Um. It's if he's like poison jab. You need an incredible roll. Um Yep, Moon Black. Um Arch Alu Dawn. Arch Alu on Kiwi. Oh uh, crit didn't come here. You have to be like banded max attack. Adamant. But I think we're okay. Healing which is really good though. Good wing. Um with Flash Cannon, and this always does 120 cent min, so... Even if he has a berry, I don't think he can live this as... Okay, so he looks to be like Scythe. Oh, he is specs based on that damage. Don't you dare get special attack drop. Okay, good. Up. And we win our quarterfinal, which means we are moving to semifinals, baby! Let's go! GG's to my opponent. I think he played great. Um, really good bring on his end with the healing wish, uh... That... Uh, Empoleon was really cool, and the Specs Iron Val is pretty nice, I can't lie about Um, yeah, GG's to my opponent. What a, what a good match. Nice match to start off the season, or playoffs. Um, let's hope we can win the next match and maybe make finals, but hey, I'll take semifinals. Um, as a, uh, kind of like the first time to be in a high-tier Terror League. I've always done low-tier Terror League, um, have a high tier terror league so this is kind of like one of my first times doing a high tier terror and i i'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back kind of i, I think i'm not doing terrible um but yeah gg i think i'm gonna end it off kind of quickly here because i do have to head out so and i gotta check if my footage is good if not i might have to try to fix that um but uh yeah uh sorry for whoever's gonna edit this i know who hey editor love you I hope my footage is not corrupted. If so, I'm so sorry. Um, if not, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Later.